Today we're going to talk about two very important material science concepts, stress and strain. They are very important parameters used to measure the strength and elasticity of materials. Take a sample that's being deformed. Stress is simply the force divided by the cross-sectional area that it is applied. Strain is the elongation of a sample being deformed divided by the original length. These ideas can be illustrated by just inflating a balloon. Strain in the balloon is the change in the balloon size when it is inflated, divided by the uninflated size. So if a balloon is inflated to five times its original size, the strain is equal to five. Stress in a balloon is a measure of the force with which the rubber molecules must hold onto each other to stop the balloon from popping. This can be thought of as how tight the balloon is or the pressure inside the balloon. The stress increases as you blow more air into the balloon. We can learn some interesting things by looking at how stress and strain change as they increase. If we inflate a balloon at a constant rate, we can plot a graph of stress versus strain. At first, the balloon fills with air and builds up a bit of pressure to overcome the initial stiffness before it starts to inflate. The graph shows this as an increase in stress due to the pressure, but only a little increase in strain as the balloon doesn't inflate by much. The curve then flattens out. This is when the balloon is inflating at a constant rate, so the pressure remains constant. But the strain is increasing with the increasing size of the balloon. The curve then gets steeper, and this is because the balloon is no longer increasing much in size, but the pressure inside is increasing. To try this experiment at home, all you need is to take a balloon and inflate it, and you'll be able to feel as the balloon is inflating it becomes easier and more difficult at certain times. Thanks for watching this video. To find out more about what you just saw, check out the description and follow the links below. To see more from Sheffield Science videos, check out our channel and don't forget to subscribe.